Welcome to another video by Warp9 Tech Design. In this one, we're going to look at Anti-Dive Mode 2 with the G-code activating with the M62 or deactivating with the M63, height control, and the TMC 3 and 1. If you go to our website, warp9td.com, go to FAQ, Mach 4, height control, TMC 3 and 1, you can find this code right here, Anti-Dive Mode 2. We'll load the code, and let's look at it real quick. M2020 is going to load our default config values for the TMC3 and 1, so everything is where we expect it. Pause for just a moment to make sure the macro can run before we go to our next line of G-code. G20 to set it to inches, G64 to set it to constant velocity mode. If you're using Z, max, and min values, you can call those and set them. Here's the important line we need right here to enable Anti-Dive 2, M62, M63. After that, there would be the probe to do your touch off on the metal. This right here, make sure that we zero our Z to that appropriate value. We come down and we turn on our torch right here. We go to our starting position of 0, 0, and then here M62P4 is going to activate our anti-dive mode 2 signal. P3 is turning our torch on because that's output 3. P4 is turning on our anti-dive 2 signal, say allow torch height control, and that's on output 4. We do our first leg, the vertical up. We call M63P4, which will turn off output 4, turning off our anti-dive 2, saying don't allow torch light control. We do our top horizontal leg. After that, M62P4 to turn on torch light control. We do our vertical downward leg right here. After that, we turn off M63P4 again to disable torch light control. We return to our starting point. And then M63 P3, this P3 will turn off our torch. I've already done ref all home. Make sure you do it too when you start up Mach 4. And as you can see, I turned on our height control to allow height control. I click cycle start and it's going right there on the up. It's shut off now on the horizontal on the vertical going down, it's back on, and now just shut off again on the other horizontal, just like we thought it would. If we were to run this again, but with height control turned off, we see it active right here, but our z-axis is not moving at all from where we commanded it to. It's on, and that's the TMC 3-in-1 saying it's trying to turn it on, but this is the smooth stepper setting saying height control is not allowed.